Hi, welcome to the Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to remove those dark circles underneath your model's eyes. This is a common uh, retouch edit, and it's well worth the time it takes to do, so I'm going to show you how to do this now. The first thing that we want to do whenever we're making any retouch edits is to copy the background layer. This ensures that any of the changes or alterations that we do do are made on that copy rather than on the original layer. So I'm going to do that now from choosing Layer and Duplicate Layer. I'm going to select OK. And looking into our Layers palette, you can see that my background copy layer is highlighted, which means that any of the changes that I'm going to make now are going to be on this layer copy. So I'm going to zoom into the file at 100% and look at the areas that I wish to alter. And that's these dark circles under the eyes here. And what I want to do is use the uh, clone stamp tool to clone some of the brighter areas underneath her eye into this area here. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to choose the clone stamp tool. And as you can see up in the top, we have a few different options. We have the, the size of the brush as well as the hardness. Whenever we're making beauty retouches or any edits like that, we want to make sure that that hardness is on zero, which ensures that the, the effect is very subtle and doesn't contain any hard lines. The next options are opacity and flow. I'm going to reduce both of these to 30, which really helps with the effect that I'm looking to achieve. The next thing that we need to do is sample some of that brighter skin into those darker areas. So holding option, and clicking into an area of lightness or alt on a PC will allow you to clone some of those bright skin tones into those dark circles. So I'm just going to repeat that over here. So clicking with option on a Mac or alt on a PC, I'm going to sample some of that lighter skin into the darker area. And as you can see, it just takes a, a few moves and we get that brightness already. Clicking on the preview of the background copy layer, you can see the before and after. I'm pretty happy with that and it looks very natural. The model's eyes look a lot brighter and I'm a lot happier with the result. The last thing that we need to do is merge the background copy to the background layer. We can choose from the panel menu, merge down, which will do this for us. The last thing that we need to do is just save that file and we're ready for uh, submission. And that's it. We're done. I hope this has been helpful and please tune back for more tutorials. Take care.